Freedom of speech and freedom of the press. You know, everything here, even in America now, we have freedom, but all freedom come with a cost. We pay, we have a tax to pay, we have a debt. Your bread got a tax on it, it has a debt. Your milk has a debt. Your, your apartment has a debt. Your car has a debt. So, you know, it's, it's, it's land of the free. But that's, um, how can you say, it's not sarcasm, <laughs> but um, it's, uh, take it with a grain of salt, you know, especially when you start talking about, um, but that doesn't mean you're supposed to be a, a, a pro-oppressionist, you know, but in the time that we live in now, it would be who of individuals who want to be successful or be a part of the white man's world um, to refrain from expressing your opinions on their actions or their behaviors because they'll they'll um they'll blackball you they'll they'll uh, exclude you or they'll have their puppets and all of their little um people that they've done things for. And that they brought into the fold and that the people that who they've enhanced their lives commit crimes against you. And have the other buffoons who are poor stand around and co-sign it. So, like I said, I don't know Mark Lamont Hill. I think it's pretty sad that the uh, pro-black and uh, uh, black first and uh, all of the people who's... Um, supposed to be about um, black excellence and uplifting black people. We're happy to see this man get fired because he 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 um, spoke freely and expressed himself on the topic. You know, it's no different if somebody would ask him, what did he think about black unemployment? So, you know, it, and that's what, that's what I said. People, people, when they don't like you, they try to black and white you. You know, and if you don't know what that means, then you need to start getting more knowledgeable about segregation and and um, when they try to black and white you, when they try to put you in this box, that you're this and that's that, you know, so it's, it's uh, but you know, like I said, I just wanted to touch bases on because I think it's sad, I think it's a, it's um. People love to kick people when they down, you know, and I ain't saying that brother down. I don't know. Him. You know, I, I have no, um, I have no, how can I say? I gain nothing for doing this. This is just me expressing my opinion after seeing so many so-called quote unquote conscious people that black people support and that black people love and that black people um, turn to for entertainment, kick this man while he down. And I said, "Wow, that 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 doesn't make any sense to me at all. That's that's totally uh, um, contradictive, you know." And, and I, I, like I said, I use myself for example. People was kicking me from the start, trying to keep me down. People were trying to stop me. People was making little comments. I, I didn't, I wasn't right for this, and I, I didn't look right for that, and my, and I looked like this and this and that. Nick picking on everything, so it was like you know, I, I, I never was given a chance. Period. So that's just me. But this brother was given a chance. This brother was brought into the fold. These people was butter his bread they enhanced his life they gave him opportunity and now they take they took it away you know like the saying the, the lord giveth and the lord taketh away and um it, it obviously he has a part to play in that he's responsible for his own actions but now the people who decided to take the opportunity away or to or try to, um, what can you say? They enhance his life. They try to uh, decrease his livelihood or, or to uh, harm him financially. They have a part to play as well. They have they have their own. Uh, they have a responsibility.